Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Aspi, and today I'm actually going to be reacting to your assumptions about me. So a week ago, I asked you guys on Instagram um, what assumptions you guys have about me, and a bunch of you answered. So let's look at it. So the first assumption I have is you have acne because you put makeup on. Hmm. Actually, it's the other way around. I put makeup on because of acne. I have a little bit of makeup on my face right now. Um, but most of my acne is basically fungal acne. And if you guys notice, like I don't know if you guys can see, but I don't really have acne anymore. I only have acne scars, which is why I put quite a bit of makeup on my face. But um, yeah, that's the first assumption. Uh, assumption number two is you are single, which is absolutely correct. I am single. Um, I post a lot of single memes, so that's kind of why I think you guys have um, figured out that. <laughs> number three is you're a Bengali. I can't believe I've actually never said this on my channel, um, but yes, I am a Bengali. Um, I don't think I've ever addressed it. Yeah, but I am Bengali um, culturally. I can't speak in Bangla, I can't read or write in Bangla, which is a shame, but yeah. Um, I'm reading gems by the way. And if you're not Indian, these are basically M&Ms. Um, but gems are much better than M&Ms. Don't fight me on this one. Okay. Next, you're dealing with mental health issues. Who isn't? <laughs> I'm Gen Z. I feel like Gen Z is depressed. Duh, our icon is Billie Eilish. Um, but yeah, like I am dealing with mental health issues. I have been for a while. And I feel like especially this pandemic, we have started to have mental health issues. And the fact that we can't really distract ourselves by like going out or watching movies or like partying, like everybody's kind of had to look at themselves and everybody's kind of coming to the realization that everybody has mental health issues but yes you can say i have mental health issues i've never really addressed it before now um but yeah i feel like everybody has some mental health issues so yeah um, the next assumption that i have is you have a tattoo and I do not. <laughs> I actually don't have a tattoo. I don't know what gives this impression of that I have a tattoo. I literally don't. I am 16. I don't even get a tattoo without my parents' permission. <laughs> a tattoo, I would have to like get my parents' permission and I am too sissy to do that. So yeah, I don't really have a tattoo yet. That's the keyword. But I don't think I'd be like getting a tattoo anytime soon either. It's just, it's too much of a commitment to make for a 16 year old, you know? like. I'm 16, I change every three months and I really don't know if like if I get a tattoo right now, like three months later, would I still like it? Who knows? <laughs> but tattoos are cool. I really want to get one, but I'm 16, so I don't really have one. But yeah, the next assumption that I have is you'd marry food if you could. That's actually incorrect. I wouldn't marry food. Marriage is so shitty. Like <laughs> I'm a hater, you guys. I'm a hater. But no, like, I wouldn't. Um, I know why you guys say this. Like, a lot of people think I'm a foodie because I'm fat. One. And two, because I post a lot about the food I eat. Like, before lockdown, I used to post a lot of food. That wasn't even all the food that I ate. Mm, but, uh, yeah, before lockdown, I used to post a lot about food. And I do love food. Like, I enjoy food a lot. As my cameraman, who is begging for gems, um, but yeah i'm not a food i wouldn't say i'm a foodie i'm not a food enthusiast because like if you go on instagram you see these people having like so much food i love food but i can't consume like a huge quantity of food which is why i don't really call myself a foodie like i really like food but then again i wouldn't sustain barbecue nation so what's the point of calling myself a foodie you know next question not a question an assumption <coughs> is wait for it this is the funniest shit i ever seen you do not let people's opinions affect you. <laughs> I'm wearing makeup right now. Do you guys see it? Like, I'm wearing makeup at 11.40 at night. 
why I sold you because I have acne and I'm literally scared that people are gonna judge me for my acne because I've gotten so many hate comments on the fact that I have acne. Um, but yeah, I do let people's opinions. I feel like I, I give off this vibe, you know. I give off this like, oh, she doesn't give up about people and like she she's so carefree. Oh my, God. I'm literally quoting like quirky girls, but yeah. People think that I don't care, but I really like. I hate myself more than anybody else could hate me. <laughs> so, well, now I understand why you guys like thought that I have mental health issues. You know what? <laughs> yeah, no, I do let people's opinions affect me, and I'm. I really want to change that. I don't want to let people people's opinions affect me if you know what i mean like i want to actively change that but i really can't <laughs> as of now and yeah that's a false assumption you guys you guys are not winning at this game you guys are making assumptions which are not true but yeah no they totally affect me i totally change myself because of it and i totally don't like that next assumption your high school experience was amazing uh, you wish I wish um, I'm in 11th by the way if you guys don't know my high school is practically over because like I'm in plus 2 and plus 2 isn't really considered high school in my school but I wouldn't say it was amazing but again I wouldn't say it was like shit either it was like a solid 6 out of 10 <laughs> if I had to rate it high school itself wasn't amazing um, yeah no it wasn't it wasn't all that great. It was pretty trash, if I may so say so myself. Um, and the last assumption is I don't want to say it because my sister's standing right there. But you listen to your sister more than your mother. I, I listen to nobody. Okay, I listen to myself. <laughs> don't do that. I'm like I have like viewers who are like three years old. Okay, don't do that. No, but like if I had to like choose between like who I listen to more, apart from myself, because like I have seven voices in my head. I listen to my sister more than my mother because I don't really, my mother doesn't really give me like advice on life, which is weird. Um, my sister kind of does, even though I don't like listen to her most of the time, she just like gives me a lot of opinions or in Komal Pandey's terms, unsolicited opinions, but um, yeah, I have to kind of listen to it because she's my sister and she's giving me an Amazon Echo Dot. <laughs> so, sometimes I have to listen to it. Mm, but yeah, I listen to her more than my mother. My mother watches my videos. Mommy, please don't dislike this video. But yeah, that's all the juicy assumptions for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, you should give this video a thumbs up if you like gems and subscribe to my channel um, because if you don't, then you will fail in first semester and yeah follow my socials the links to them will be in the description box down below and yeah that's all for today bye